magnify the Lord with me. Ladies and neighbor, tell them, don't leave me out here by myself. Help me magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. And his neighbor tell him, I want you blessed as well as myself. I want you to be healed as well as myself. I want you prosperous as well as myself. I want you successful as well as myself. Amen. We come and the song says, we lift up praises unto our God. And then we receive from him. You set in the course, you set in atmosphere for God to bless your life. You're giving him permission to grant you what he's already given you. Everything in the spirit world, just like the natural, has principle. Amen. It has principle. You have to know how to bring that thing in. From the invisible to the visible. Yes. It's a team of translation. You got your message. We're trying to get in touch. I don't, did you get back in touch? You did get Okay. Yes, I pray with you. And good to see you. Amen. Here today. Amen. We're going into the word of God. Amen. At your neighbor, are you ready? Are you ready? Subtopic God expects you to finish strong. God expects you to finish strong. All the heavenly hosts, all the veterans, those that went before you are cheering you on. The same race that you're in, Jesus was also in. Find out in Hebrew chapter 12 uh, in the message translation. And the Bible says he plowed through everything. Didn't care about shame, didn't care about anything. The cross, none of that. Amen. He plowed on through. Because he knew where he was headed. And when you got destination in front of you. You're willing to do whatever it takes now, to get there. Yeah, uh, you get to the place where you refuse to allow the enemy to distract you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't care what he comes up with. You refuse to participate. Yes. Come on now. Somebody tell him I refuse to participate. I refuse to participate. I refuse to participate. I have a destination in front of me. And God expects me to finish strong. We're going to pick up in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, Selena kicked us all real good on Friday. Amen. 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 I'm so proud. Amen. All it takes is a word. Amen. All it takes is a word. God will send his word and what does it do? Yeah, it heals what? Every destruction. Every destruction. Yes, sir. All it takes is a word. Yes, Sometimes your head could be down and somebody yes, could walk yes, up and just yes. say good morning. Amen. And change your whole day. Yes, yeah, a smile. Yes, See, it don't take a whole lot. A smile will make a person's Come day. Come on now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Saying hello. Amen, somebody. Amen. We'll make a person's day. Yes. Kick off the day. Yes. Amen. 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 Greeting people. Walking down your driveway. Just greeting people with Amen. a smile. Amen. Not only will it change your world, but it'll change theirs. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Deuteronomy 28. She, she was on this. And then I, I wanted, just before I go here, 
because she, she did 2 Corinthians uh, 5 and 7. But I turned around and I looked at that in the uh, message translation. And, and, I, and I, I love this. Uh, and King James said, you walk by faith and not by sight. You live in, uh, turns around and says, we walk by believing and not seeing. The message picks it up and says, it's what we trust in, but don't yet see that keeps us going. Oh, I like that. Because you have a destination, you have a goal in front of you. Oh, y'all got to come on here. And, and it's what you trust in, but don't yet see. The Bible says in Mark 11, uh, whatever you pray, believing that you've received, past tense, you will have. So even uh, not seeing it, you you know confidently that it's yours. Yes, yes, you yes. you are pregnant with that thing, yes. and, and and you refuse to abort. Yes. You refuse <laughs> to allow yes. someone to come along and stress you out. Yes. Yes. Where you come to to sickness that will cause you to abort. When you get pregnant with that thing, you don't see it. But no, no, not that. Amen. Oh, look at somebody and ask them, are you pregnant? Are you? Are you? This is spiritual. Yes. Don't, don't, get, don't get in trouble. This is spiritual. This is spiritual. You got to get pregnant with that thing. If you're believing that you're healed, you got to get pregnant with yes. healing. You can't receive any other report yes. other than a healing report. Yes. You go through the word and you look. For scriptures that yes, talk about yes, healing yes. solidly, immediately. And you don't receive the doctor before. Thank you for your report, yes. but I'm going back to the Creator. Yes, and yes. I'm going to believe that I have already, according yes. to 1 Peter 2.24, by His stripes you were. So that means past tense. You were already healed. You're not waiting someday, one day, I'm going to be healed. No. I was already healed. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It, it, the pain might be trying to kick up, but you yet declaring healing. I'm pregnant with healing. I don't care all the hell breaking loose. Glory to God, you're pregnant with peace. God said, I will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed, stayed, focus, 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 focus. Focus. You don't let everybody grab your attention. You don't let everybody pull you here and there. No, I'm focused on my peace. I'm in my place of peace. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't care what the bank account says. You got to get pregnant with money. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you can't be trying to wonder where the money coming from. No, honey, you have money. You are loaded. Your pockets are full. I, I'm gonna get oh God ahead of myself too fast. You got to, you got to, this is what faith is. Faith, faith is the substance. It's the substance. That's the thing that you're getting pregnant with. Faith is that substance, whatever it is. Oh, you got to know you already have it. Uh, you ain't looking for it. You ain't trying to find it. I'm already in expectation that I got this thing. Look at somebody and tell them I'm in expectation right now. Oh, yeah, I got this thing. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hallelujah. It's what you trust in, but you don't yet see it. So that's what keeps you going. Every bill is paid, and we got plenty left over. You ain't giving them word how I'm going to pay the bill. Oh, Lord, here we go. This is the day. This is the cut off day. And I don't know. You don't get that way. Hallelujah. You thank God that it's already paid. You thank God. Oh, God, I thank you that it's paid for. I thank you every bill is paid. I thank you. Unexpected supernatural financial abundance continues to shower upon me. Glory to God, everything is well. You're dealing with a dead situation. Hallelujah. You call it out. All is well. I don't care what it is. All is well, Lord is God. Dead in your house. You got to call it all well in the house. You can't talk deadness in the house. I'm getting away from myself. Hallelujah. You got to talk and declare wellness over your kids. You got to talk wellness over 
over your spouse. Glory to God, I don't care what's going on. Don't allow anger to take over the house. Glory to God, declare peace. Get pregnant with peace in the house. Glory to God, we ain't living in no unhappy home. God gave us a happy home. God don't and we don't have joy and peace up in this place. I wish I had somebody here. You're not talking about what you see. You're talking about what you believe. You're talking what you expect to come to pass. Not what you see. Not worried about the reading. I don't care. Talk about it all you want to. None of these diseases shall come nigh me. And that's why I trust him. Uh, not yet seeing glory to God that grants me the confidence to know that it already is so. Oh, my Lord. Y'all pulling me too fast. Y'all pulling me too fast. Hallelujah. Somebody hungry in here. Oh, I feel you pulling on me. Glory to God. I, I pray that you get everything that you can for. Because somebody came in here hungry. God said, I'm right here to fulfill the need. I'm here, and I'm not going to just do it. I'm not going to do it more than enough. Oh my God, that thing is going to be pressed down, shaken together, and run over. You're going to have to have some help for all of this. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready.
It already belongs to you. It's yours by divine right. All your neurons, I call them back together. The Bible says the memory of the righteous is blessed. Your memory is blessed. Every neuron in your brain is blessed. Now, if you don't want to be healed, you can stay like you are. You're a moral free agent. You don't have to be healed if you don't want to. I'm not here to make anybody get healed. Jesus didn't make nobody get healed. People that wanted to be healed, they got healed. If you want to hold on to sadness, then you stay sad. But don't hinder me from being happy. Because I realize I can't make people be happy. Glory to God, I can offer it all to you, but if you don't receive God himself can't make you think. It's a choice. Do you want to be happy? You have to answer that question yourself. Do you really want to be happy? Do you really want to be joyous? Do you really want to be healed? Do you really want to be rich? Do you really want to be wealthy? Do you really want to be healthy? Do you really want to be successful? Do you really want to be prosperous? Then you better reach up and grab it and pull it in. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. I'll never have another sad day. Another day of my life. Oh, you're going real deep. Yes, you can go deep. The Bible says, set your effect. If I only see heaven and stop looking at the earth, I'll have happy days. He said, I'll keep you there if you want to remain there. You can't be worried about every time Dick and Harry come. You got to worry about your own happiness. And everybody else that comes along will be a bonus. Earth. I'm gonna be the seed of that that I want to see happen. Somebody tell about that. Oh, oh, my Lord. Y'all gonna let me do this? Y'all gonna keep me way out here. Can I back up to the pack? Y'all take me too far out there. Hallelujah, where I won't get back. Glory to God because God said I see you yeah. And he said I've been trying to do it for you yeah. But you're not giving me permission oh, no. You won't allow me to do it <laughs> You keep wondering and looking for opinions You keep looking for excuses And God said if you would only look at me yeah. And stop looking at everybody yeah. Yeah. Trying to find everybody else yeah. Going off about everybody else yeah. He said it's
He will transform you into the greatest nation yes, of the world. Yes, the Bible says you are to lend to nations with yes. never need to borrow. Yes. Oh, y'all not here yet. Yes. Let's keep it moving. These are the blessings, watch this, that will come upon you. Blessings in the city. Yes. Blessings in the field. Yes. Many children, oh God. Ample crops. Large flocks and herds. Blessings of fruit and bread. Blessing when you come in. Blessing when you go out. See, everywhere you go, you're blessed. I need somebody to say that right now. I want you to say this. Everywhere I go, I'm blessed. Everywhere I go, I'm blessed. I'm blessed going in, I'm blessed coming out. Verse 7, the Lord will defeat your enemies before you. They will march out together against you but scattered before you in seven directions. What you worried about? Why are you worried about them? God said, I'll fight for you. I will defeat your enemy. Pick your head up. Get your joy back. They can't touch you when God got you. What you worried about? They keep picking on me. That's because you give them permission. Yeah. Yeah. Then I rebuke you. Yes, In the name of our Lord Jesus. Yes, Everything you set out against me is going to come back at you seven ways. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Yes. You don't run from the devil. Yes. You don't let the devil put you on a run. Yes. You put him on the run. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm God's property. Yeah. You are trespassing. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Yeah. You go around through your house. Listen here. This is God's property. Yeah. He gave us this. Yeah. And you're not running us out of it. Yeah. You get out. Yeah. Oh. He gave me this car. Yeah. You're not taking it away from us. Yeah. You get out. If you don't bless you, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, somebody needs to bless The Lord, watch this, will bless you with good crops and healthy cattle and prosper, watch this, everything you do. When you arrive in the land, the Lord, your God, is giving you. Oh my goodness, you will feast like kings. Verse 9, he will change you into a holy people dedicated to himself. This he has promised to do if you will only obey him and walk in his way. All the nations of the world shall seek that you belong to the Lord. They don't feel you belong to the Lord. You oh, won't brush it in the stuff. Yeah. Broke, busted, and <laughs> And you're talking about Jesus? Yeah. No, they don't see that. Uh -huh. Or they'll say, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> All the nations, I read that again, verse 10. In the world shall see, be supposed to see you blessed. They're supposed to see you blessed. They're supposed to desire what you have. Glory to God. They, watch this, will stand in awe. Amen. You all in here? Yes, sir. I didn't make this up. This is what he said. They will stand in awe looking at you. My, my, my. See, your curse in them that know where you came from. Uh -huh. yeah. Ought to be able to look at you and in awe and be like, oh my goodness, she got away. Yes, 
I think I can say the we same thing. <laughs> I've had family members tell me I will never surpass them. I will never get in their way. And cuss me out in the process. But did it stop anything? No. See, people stop you when you allow them. Because I could easily believe them. It hurt me. But then I turned around and said, they're going to look up and see me so far beyond. Why do you say Because you need to stop focusing on even family members. Because they told you, you ain't going to be this. Don't you know your mom and them had it? Your grandma and them, they all, none of us didn't have nothing. Yeah, they've been sick down through the line of time. you going to be sick too. I've heard parents tell their kids that you're going to have this same disease that I got. And I asked, why would you say that? Why would you tell your kids that? Why would you impart that to them? You're supposed to be breaking the correct. This, this, this is some of them Jesus people. Jesus don't talk like that. He said, I come that you have life. So if you come to him, if you don't want life, you don't want to go around him. Y'all got to hear me. So, so you got to stop allowing the world to dictate to you. You go back in the word of God and see what he said about this. All the nations of the world will see that you belong to him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they will stand in awe looking at you. Uh -huh. How in the world how are you? Your business prospers. Your home prospers. Yeah. Yeah. Your health prospers. Yeah. Your money prospers. Yeah. Family prospers. Yeah. How is all this happening? Ministry prospers. How is this happening? You're trying to figure out how did y'all make it through the pandemic? Come on now. And y'all stayed open and didn't close one day. How did y'all make it? How did y'all do it? How many died? None. None. You see, because you're trusting in what you believe. Come on now. And if I really am coming from God, yes, 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 yes. then I'm not worried about any of that out there. Yes, yes, right. Yes, right. Yes. They will stand in all looking at you yes. and say, how are you making it through this? You didn't get evicted. You didn't get put out. You didn't lose nothing. No, no you just crossed it. Yes. Right on through. Kept yes. on crossing. I think God takes times like that and prospers his people in the lowest time. I believe I, I, I think he showed some of his greatest miracles with everything going down. So they can stand and look at you going up. See, see, he wants to turn some heads yes, he in your direction. Yes. You still here. Come on, now. And you're prospering. Yes. How? Yes. How? Yes, I am. Yes. Uh, you don't live from the one on the outside. Yes, right. Greater is he in yes. me yes. than he that is in me. Don't get your faith is up, baby. You're going to make it through any time or situation or condition. It tells you all the time, keep your faith up. You do that, and I don't care what's going on. You come out of every prison, every dungeon, every fiery furnace, and won't even smell like what you've been through. Are y'all still here? Yes, sir. This is God. Oh, my God. My brother said it the 
other day, he want to brag on you. Yes, he do. He want to brag on you. But if you don't give him permission to bring you up from where you've been, he can't brag on you. Because you're a perfect and upright man. Richest man in the East. That gets attention. He said to Satan, have you considered? He said, God said. God the Father. He said, look at this. He know you ain't going to change. Yes, Lord. You got to say it. He, oh God, he, 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 he's confident about you. Don't, don't, don't let him down. Yeah. He know you ain't going to change when the enemy come down on your street. Yeah. All right. That's good, buddy. All right. All right. Have you considered? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, upright man. Oh, he put on high. Yes, he will. Always all you hear out here ain't nobody perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's all you hear. And people agree. Right. That doesn't talk about flesh. Right. When you were created, you were created perfect. Yeah. Your spirit is perfect. Yes, it is. That's why the only way you live is go back to spirit. No good thing lie within this flesh. Then the Bible says the flesh profit nothing. No thing. It is the spirit that quit it. So any man that lived from that place is perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Don't care what the outside look like. Keep your eyes on them. Amen. And watch them come up. No matter where you are right now, when you get a glimpse of your real life, you'll never be the same. Amen. The Bible says, you have just a taste of this. Ooh, yes. Yes. We'll never ever be the same. Yes. Just a taste. Yes. It will change your whole world. That's why I tell you, stop going through the motion and knowing you ain't connected. Yeah. If you want to be connected, yeah. take well before shaking. Yeah. Y'all yeah. gotta catch this. Yeah. Because there, there, there's a demon yes, it is. that's sitting up in your mind waiting on you to get through so we can start talking. Yeah. And talk you out of it. Right, 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 right. God said, listen, they're supposed to stand in awe looking at you. You got to utilize that repetitiously. And tell that carnal mind to shut up. Can I get through this? Verse 11, the Lord will give you an abundance of good things in the land. Are you experiencing some good things? Yes. Oh, I got a few. Yes. Max, again. Are you experiencing some good things? Yes. He said, I give you an abundance of good things in the land. So it's not just enough. There's an abundant overflow. Just as he promised. Many children, many cattle, and abundant crops. He will open to you the wonderful treasury of rain in the heavens oh my God. Thank you, to God. give you fine Thank you, God. Bijan yeah, yeah. Keep on. down the camp yeah. oh filet mignon yeah. caviar yeah. 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 a lot to tell yeah. 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 the best of the best yeah. And watch this every season. He will bless, watch this, he will bless everything you do. Everything you do, he'll bless it. You don't look for failure. You stop looking for failure. What if? What if it don't? What if? 
what have you done? What have you done for what have you done for? What if they say no? What if they say yes? You won't know until you've gone up in there and know that God has blessed everything that you do. And you shall lend. Y'all ain't hear me. Y'all be comfortable this today. You shall lend. You've got to confess this before you see it. I lend to nations with never a need to borrow. So you can't say that around people because they, because they get carnal. You've got to get to yourself in your secret place. And let God reward you openly. Because they ain't going to believe you. They're going to say you're crazy. You lost your mind. You tell them I lend to nations. We're never a need to borrow. They're they going to look at you all and start cussing you and everything else. <laughs> oh, where, 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 where does you need a uh, psychiatrist? That must be that medicine. Okay. I've been in places they call them, they were calling themselves Jesus. They walk around calling themselves Abraham. I ain't doubt them. I didn't debate them. Because in their world, that's who they were. And I and I declare the manifestation of what they were confessing. Because mm -hmm. then you're going to get up out of here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take a bunch of more with you. Right, right. I, I missed that right there. <laughs> see, 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 you go in there and oh, no, you know you not that. You know. No, let them continue to confess it. Because right. suppose it does happen and everybody in that unit get healed. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Step on the floor in the hospital, whatever floor you step on. Glory to God, everybody get healed. Y'all not hear me? This is where we're supposed to be. Everybody all of a sudden be like, oh my God, you know what I feel? I don't need to walk. I don't need to chair. I don't need the cane. I don't need. All of a sudden, I believe I got a miracle. Y'all can't get that far, can you? Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, I, I, I don't know what happened. But everything lined up. Yes. Yes. I was in the, uh, uh, I got, my ankle broke and went to urgent care. While I was sitting in urgent care, sitting in the waiting room, Waiting to be called. I felt heat come over me. Oh my God, I thought I was about to pass out. I'm holding the chair. Oh God, you people see me pass on the floor. <laughs> he went straight from the crown of my head and anchored straight to my ankle. And it popped while I was sitting there. Y'all better come on. And then it left. And I started. Oh my Lord. How did I get you? Thank you, God. I said, but I'm going to sit here for a little while. Because I got some benefits. Amen. Shadow, 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 shadow 
of death. I will fear no evil. For God is with me. His rod and staff comforts me. <laughs> he prepares a table before me. Right in the presence of my enemy. He anoints my head with oil. And my cup. Yourself 
healed. Yes. And I'm talking to you in here. Yes. You can talk yourself healed. Yes, yes. yes. I receive that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Don't have them practicing on you all the time. Making right. a guinea pig out of you. Right. And you're worse than you were before you ever went right. Up and all that stuff. Can't even keep your head up. Right. Right. No, I did better without it. Amen. At least I can stay awake. Amen. Everywhere I sit down. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Oh, that's uh, you know, that medicine. I ain't even drunk. I'm on medication. <laughs> Every child of God is going on. If he's, don't tell me you can't do it if God said you can. You're the one making excuses. He said every child of mine, you say you're a child of his. Did he tell you you defeat this more? So what you running for? Why are you walking in fear? Why are you let media put you in fear? Why are you let people put you in fear? You're a child of God, you defeat. This evil world. And how do we do it? We achieve this victory through our F-A-I-T-H. Faith. That's how you do it. Faith don't make sense. But it makes miracles. You ain't trying to make sense. You're making miracles. And miracle signs and wonders are to follow you. Yes. Everywhere you go. Yes. Miracle signs and wonders. That's why I tell people when you get up in the morning, you got to declare something right. and say thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I hope I have a good day. That is not the way to talk. Yes. I thank you, God, thank you. that I shall have a wonderful, awesome, pleasant, blessed yes. day today. Yes. Yes. I try joy and happiness everywhere I go. Say something that is uplifting. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, you're rich. You're wealthy. Yeah. You're yeah. healthy. Yeah. You're happy. Yeah. You're prosperous. Yeah. You're successful. Yeah. Tony, you're blessed, boy. Yeah. You're favored. Yeah. You're God's favorite child. You got every right to say it too. I got it posted up on my wall. You are God's favorite child. It's okay for you to say it. I got it. I don't know how many kids. Okay, thank you. And every last one I'm going to say it. I'm Daddy's favorite child. I see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we really hear it over there. <laughs> you can do that. Because you're his child. Right. You ain't based on everybody else. Everybody else ain't thinking like you. Right. Right. Amen. You speak for your son. I'm God's favorite child. God's favorite child. Amen. And you walk that with confidence. Not worried about nothing. nothing. You tell somebody like that, I said, move that we made straight faith, all of us faith. Mm -hmm. We couldn't think or sit down and be trying to analyze, figure it out. Couldn't do none of that. Because as soon as you start doing that, you start going down. Yes. I told a woman about her business. She told me, I said, you watch your bank account. I said, you keep doing that, you're going to see it decrease. Right. I told her, just continue to declare over the business. And don't look at the council and watch it increase. You won't even know how. But because you're speaking it and declaring it in faith, it just happens. You be trying to figure out where this comes from. Where did that come from? End of the year, you've got plenty. 
and you made it all to you. And you got plenty at the end of the year. How, how does that? You stay in your faith. And you continue to declare what you believe, not what you saw. I did that too. And I started stuffing, trying to figure out how we're going to get these knees met. Oh, Lord, we're about to be embarrassed. We ain't got the money to pay this. We ain't got the money to pay this. I was in a bad shape for a long time. And God woke me up and showed me what the problem was. You keep looking at that, it's going to kill you. You look up here, it's going to be all with I said, but God, they, don't, they may not receive that. But you keep looking at it, you're going to be dead. You're not worth it. Now, that's what he said to me. I was mad right there to the hospital. Anxiety attack. And that was the last time I went in for anxiety. I hadn't been back since. That's been about 15 years ago. Every week. Sometimes, two, three times. Because I was going through, I thought I had a heart attack. It was like it was coming out of my mouth and everything. I'm about to die. I'm going crazy. losing. All it was, all that stress. And I didn't stop breathing. Now everything up here. Praise the Lord. No, you weren't created to live like that. God didn't create you to live like that. And that's why the results come out in your body through diseases. Dis-ease. 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 That's what it is. When you got all that in you, it shows up in your health. Because you are created with that. A lot of people sick today got bad illnesses. Because there's so much stuff built up in here that they haven't released. They're not trying to change it. And you still talking about Jesus. But you got all that stuff bottled up in here. You won't forgive the God. But you're holier than thou. You will not forgive. You walk in unforgiveness. That will show up as results in your body. I don't have a science certificate to tell you some things that I know and have learned. I have learned some things, even as much as down to that big C word. And people think it just happened. It didn't just happen. How did I get like this? Take some inventory. Take some inventory. Then you pass it on. Down through your lineage, where you should have cut it off. Right. Then they want to blame God. How my child, did. it was passed down through the gene. Come right on through you, and you're passing it on down. Who's going to break that? Who's going to break that? You call your generation blessed. Forgive everybody. Forgive whoever you need to forgive. So you can get out of this ease. And get healed. Let your healing come. People have gone to the hospital. There's numbers of people I've told them. And they said that the doctor said they can't find what's wrong. I said they won't. Because what's wrong with you is not natural. Mouth and stuff you've been holding on to yeah. got you like that. Yeah. Doctor yeah. can't cure that. Yeah. 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 A filthy house carries all types of disease and termites, roaches, cockroaches, mice, rats, everything.
that accumulates in a dirty house. And when this house is dirty in there, you accumulate all of that filth and germ. And you walk around like everything okay. You know it's not. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. G.I. I had to get honest with his own self. I had to face my own demon, which is myself. I shut myself up in a room and said, I ain't coming out until everything is clear. I don't care how long it takes, I'm not coming out. I need everything out. And people don't want to do that. They want to go around and act like they see certain people come up. Oh, there they go. They can't stand it. They're throwing up hands and shouting hands and screaming. And that certain person show up. There you go. That right there is showing you that you got disease going on. God wants you healed. Sorry. He wants you healed. But he can't come through all that mud. He's shining a light on the glass full of mud. Can it come through? No. no. You got to clean up the glass. Yeah. And then put the light on the light and go straight Come on now. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's your time. It's my time. You get up, look up, and live. Amen. Do whatever it takes. Yeah. Till you get your life back. Yeah. Let bygone be bygone. Yeah. You can't go back and fix none of it. You can't go back and change none. It's done. It's done. All of us will go back and change something if we do. But you can't. All you can do is pick up today and move forward. Yes, sir. Let the haters hate. But you forgive them and forgive yourself. Everybody got a pass. Stop allowing your past to dictate your future. Your past don't dictate your future. God always had a prosperous life for you. And your past is not going to stop as long as you're willing to get up to death and do something about it. You don't care about the past. What you going to do today? That's what he wants to know. What are you going to do today? You know, last night, you know, you didn't care about none of that. What are you going to do today? Don't let last night ruin your future. Don't let yesterday take you down. They told you all, okay, forgive them. For they know not what they do. And keep on moving. Don't sit and let that bottle up in you. You say, how are you, how are you? I ain't you the high in your hand when you're doing it. Well, you know what? Just took practice. Come on. Yes, sir. I realize if I go off about every little thing, it ain't doing nothing for me. Amen. That's why I was taking 400 milligram blood pressure medicine. Because mm-hmm. my blood pressure stayed up <laughs> in the 200 range. Ooh, I'm fussing about everything. Come out of church, start fussing. <laughs> Going off about everything. And letting on all the stuff I already had in me. But when I got all that stuff off of me, Come on now. I'll my blood pressure was dropping too low. I'm going to pass out. Stay. And the doctor said, Oh, we got to back that medicine off of you because your blood's going way too low. Y'all got to hear this. You can get healed, but are you willing to do what it takes? Because if you're going to keep yourself stressed out, then forget him. If you're going to keep letting everybody get on your nerves, forget him. Because they don't mix. They don't mix. I'm helping somebody. Mm-hmm. You're going to take all your money. Amen. Actually, they're all you blessed. Are you blessed? Are you, are you going to get up, look up, and live? Are you going to stay where you've been? 
Get an ass out of You can take and pour what you were going to do into right now. We pour into these kids because this is something I desire to do for mine. But I didn't have this type of knowledge. All I knew was religion. And I come to this now. I ask God, where have you been all my life? Amen. I gotta be it. So we take and pour it all as if this is start over. We've been married 30 years. Amen. So we take and pour it out here. These kids and all. Grown up. Still kids. Amen. Except you come as a child, you won't enter the kingdom. Is that what the Bible says? So stop being grown. Knowing it all. <laughs> also, I can all that I need when I make it. Let somebody help me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And there's enough being poured out here for everybody to get up yeah. and have a transformed life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But you must desire and be sincere about it and seek it diligently. Yeah. Father, we give you praise and glory for the things that you've done yeah. in this house today. I thank you. So I'm sorry, healed, delivered, and set free. I thank you for abundance of blessing. That shouts. I thank you for all the miracle signs and wonders that follow the word that was spoken here today. In the name of our Lord Jesus. As it has been spoken, so it is. As far as my voice is heard and has been heard this day, in Jesus' name. Angels of the living God, dispatch out and manifest in the avenues of everyone that will receive. And the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name. And so it did. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Put your hands together and give God praise. We're starting $100 today, and I want you.